everyone. So today I thought I would share with you a tip for gardening that I have learned for bugs, particularly slugs. So over the years, we've had an increased number of slugs in our garden. And I have learned that those slugs come from uh, the low lime in the soil. So we've remedied the lime, but the slugs are here now. So they kind of just are gonna be here. But uh, there's a few things that you can do to keep them off your plants and particularly your cabbage and your broccoli because that's what they love. So I'm gonna share those tips with you today and I'll show you what I do with them when I go out in my garden. So let me adjust my camera really quick. All right, so one of the things that I found is egg shells. So we save our eggs all year long and just put them in jars and the egg shells, for whatever reason, the slugs don't like so they're sharp and whatnot so they don't like to crawl across the egg shells uh, but it also um, helps with the calcium in the soil. So what we do is we take our eggshells and we set them on the counter for usually 24 hours so that they dry. You don't want them to have the goopy stickiness inside of them when you put them in here. Uh, so let them dry first and then put them in a jar and then, or you could put them in a food processor or something like that. Um, I just put them in my jar because my kids will come and talk to me in the kitchen and they sit here and they smash them down and they don't have to be so you can see these ones are fairly fine but they're not like powder I mean if you were just looking for the calcium in them you might want to pulverize them to powder but for the slugs you actually want the small shards because that will keep them from crawling across towards your plants and the nice thing about the eggshells is that they stay sharp even after it rains so you can put lime around your plants and that will keep the slugs away from your plants for the amount of time that that's there. But as soon as you water, it's going to soak into the soil and then the slugs can get back in. One thing about the eggshells is you do have to do it fairly regularly, like, I don't know, every 12 days to 14 days, something like that. And it's not that it's washing away or anything, but it's just nice to put them out there. The calcium leaches out of them. So that's the other thing I use them for is the calcium. Um, I put these in my greenhouse as well on my tomatoes and things because the tomatoes like calcium. And I don't have slugs in my greenhouse, but I do put the eggshells in there for the calcium is good for the tomatoes. So I will show you what I do with these eggshells out in my garden. So I have my eggshells that I just showed you about smashing up and I'm going to show you what I do with these. Um, it's a beautiful sunny day today but it is super hot for Alaska. Usually we're in the 70s, it's been about 85 and no rain lately so anyway it's, it's been plenty warm, it's been nice. It's been a good reprieve from the cold winter but we're about ready for some rain. So let me show you what I do with these eggshells. So before I show you what I do with my eggshells I'm going to just really quickly show you my little greenhouse. So we were going to build a greenhouse out here. Sorry, the sun is setting kind of um, right out here and it's on a swampy area. So we needed to drive some pilings and we did not get that done this spring. So that's going to be have to be a fall project. So I wanted to grow tomatoes. I've never been successful at growing tomatoes, but these ones are actually doing really well. And we've got a couple of cucumbers here, uh, but we needed a little bit of a greenhouse because it <coughs> Excuse me, it gets cold here. So I just want to show you what we have. So we have this wall, it's made out of railroad ties. And we just screwed a 2x4 to the top of the railroad ties. And then we drill holes in here, sorry, drilled holes. And this is just PVC conduit that bends. It's very flexible. So we just bent it down kind of where it would just bend nicely. And then down here at the bottom, we have the 2x4. This one's a uh, weather treated two by four and then stakes to stake it down and again we've drilled holes <coughs> in here so that we could put the other end of the pipe down into the ground and then the bisqueen just goes over top and right now it's open and here in just a minute I'm going to close it because it's evening but this eggshells let me see if I can hold this right Okay, so I have my eggshells, and the eggshells in here, we don't get slugs in the tomatoes. However, the eggshells provide calcium 
for the tomatoes. And I've never done this for my tomatoes before, sorry. And so this time I thought, well, I'll try that because like I said, I've never been successful growing tomatoes either. So I'm just gonna really quickly put some of these around here and then I'll go show you what I do around the broccoli and the cabbage. And we'll throw some here on the cucumbers. Just for the fun of it. I don't know if they need calcium or not. I guess if it kills them, well, no, they don't. And now I'll go show you where I put these eggshells out on my garden. All right, so as the sun is setting, the bugs are coming out. So we'll see how long I can stand to be out here in the bugs. But for some reason, we've got a lot of no seams this year that bite. Anyway, so here's a cabbage. And my cabbage, of all things, looks the saddest, at least in this row. But I'm going to, right now we don't have slugs, but I'm going to put these around here anyway. So I just go from plant to plant, just right around the plant, around the leaves. And later in the season, I'm going to put more like into the leaves and around the cabbage because that keeps the slugs down as well. But for now, and here's some broccoli. The broccoli is looking really good. And the slugs don't actually bother the broccoli too much, or I haven't really had them bother the broccoli. They mostly like the cabbage, <laughs> but I think that it's probably good for them anyway. And this, I don't know, I think somehow we got some cabbage in amongst the broccoli. This is what happens when you don't label your starts. <laughs> and then you tell your kids, go plant all those. And so they do exactly what you told them to do but you don't know what you actually had. <laughs> well, I know what we had, but I don't know exactly what I, um, which was planted where, apparently. I thought I did. All right, and then this, this one looks like cabbage too, I don't know. It'll be interesting to see, the bugs are buzzing my ears. <laughs> We have a lot of mosquitoes in Alaska, but we also have a lot of little biting gnats and things that aren't very fun to deal with, but that's okay. Usually in the middle of the day when it's really hot, they're not out so much. So I do a lot of my gardening in the middle of the day. Um, just so you guys can see, uh, the radishes are coming up. And also, if I go over here, the peas are starting to come up. I do need to get, um, we need to get our fence up. Let me come back down. I just watered my garden and I'm falling into, or stepping in the mud. Whoops. are biting. This last one, I don't know if it's going to make it. It's the smallest of all, but you never know. Anyway, the other thing that's coming up, so this is my spinach. It's starting to come up. That's cool. This one, it was some other greens. I don't have anything coming up yet. The zucchini is actually kind of starting to look normal again. That one looks like it got beat to death by the water. This one's coming back to life. Let's see. That one, it's got mud all over it, but anyway, so there is my garden. Nothing else is really growing, although that might be a carrot, I don't know. But anyway, oh wait, I'll show you my onions too. The onions, I've never had success with onions. <laughs> and these ones were planted with the little bulbs. 
and they're coming out they look great these ones I planted like in pots earlier or not pots but like little starting things and they look good too but I think it's amazing these ones are coming up and look really good so I'm excited for those Alright, so I am getting eaten alive. But anyway, there's a little garden tour and a little greenhouse tour. And there's what I do with all of my eggshells. And we'll do this again, um, I don't know, in a few weeks. I got plenty of eggshells. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.